everybody, welcome to the Law Doc Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be an Amazon haul. So I'm gonna share with you everything that I have bought, most of what I have bought recently from Amazon. Um, this is mostly since Christmas, like since our Christmas haul, um, and it's mostly homeschool stuff because, well, what else do we buy? But I do have a few things that aren't homeschool related that I'll share at the end. Um, I'm surrounded by stuff. So we're just going to jump right in. So the first thing I have to show you is a set of books that I bought for Emily. It is the Unicorn Academy. Um, it says, what if your best friend was a unicorn? At Unicorn Academy, every student gets their own beautiful unicorn. Each unicorn has a special kind of magic. Some can fly and some can turn invisible and some can even create fire. I'm going to be honest. She hasn't started reading these yet, but they sounded a lot like the Dragon Master series, except with girls and unicorns. And Emily's unicorn obsessed, so I didn't think I could go wrong. If you're wondering about the level for your kids, that is what the reading level is. And they are each about, let's see. Oh, you know what? They don't have page numbers. There are no page numbers, but they are about that thick. I would say probably 100 to 120 pages, um, but they're super cute. Like even the covers of them are adorable. Now I bought her the first four. There's a set of four. Um, I believe there are eight or more because I saw that there was another set. I just haven't bought them yet. I wanted to see what she thought of those first. Um, for Valentine's Day, we got her this series, which is Animal Adventure Club. This was a gift from us. And she has already read them. She read all three of them within a week. She absolutely loved them. There's animal facts inside, um, all about the animals that you read and about in the book. So like here, for example, this one had a hedgehog and a deer in it and a fox. And then there's like profiles of the animals in the back. The book itself has about 99 pages. And here is the reading level of these. There's uh, baby rest, baby deer rescue, baby otter rescue, and baby red squirrel rescue. Now these are the only three that I could find on Amazon. Um, I don't know if there will be more, but like I said, she loved them. Like she read all three of them in a week. Uh, let's see. We also got her this book because we love DK and it's the DK behind the scenes at the zoo. Um, and she has been obsessed with this. Like like carrying it around with her just like like do you know this do you know this so I mean it just has just I mean all kinds of information about the animals about enrichment here is her favorite page ever it's a checkup of a cheetah um, and it's just like I said it's just so much information there's you know like here's a zoo vet it was like screamed Emily. It was right up her alley. And she's just really, really enjoyed that one. Uh, we got a few new books for read alouds, a, a wolf called wonder and a whale of the wild. One of my friends shared about these books on Instagram or shared about one of these books on Instagram. And when you check out, it suggested the other. And I'm so glad I got them. Um, this one is the major events of American history. And so it's 50 major events. And it's really kind of simple. So for instance, here's the gold rush on this side. And then here's the rest of it. So it kind of reminds me of like the good night stories for rebel girls, except it's historical events instead of people. They're about three pages. And then there's always like a little explore more. So these are like the perfect link for our bedtime basket. See the little explore more down there. So the American history is 50 defining moments from pre-colonial times to the 21st century. These would make great additions to morning basket too. They just fit really well in our bedtime basket. And then the other one I got was the world history one. So it's the same 50 defining moments from ancient civilization to modern day. And it is about three to four pages per, let's see here. Let me find one, uh, the seven years war. And then it ends on page three. So three pages about it. 
And these include History Revealed and another Explore More. So all of them have the Explore More. And then these books have like this little History Revealed section. So you can dig deeper with informative bonus facts. Okay, this next section of books, if you missed the um, spring homeschool plan video that I posted earlier this week, uh, is all human body related because we are getting ready to start a very large human body unit study. Um, I actually wrote one that I'm super excited about. It will be in the shop later this week. So that is what the majority of these are for. Um, I owned a lot, but these were ones I wanted to add. This is the National Geographic Weird But True Human Body Trivia. And of course we had to get the Magic School Bus and the Five Senses as well as the Magic School Bus into the human body. And then these books are just funny and I knew Emily would like them. It's the Parts series. So you have parts, more parts, and even more parts. And they're just, I mean, they're funny. They're really funny. Like, he's worried about like everything happening. Um, it, they're just hilarious. So I thought it would be kind of a fun way to lighten the topic of human body by reading these. And then, so we are already doing who was units along with this, but I also love biographies and this biography stood out to me because it's who says women can't be doctors. And so it's about Elizabeth Blackwell, the first woman doctor. So we will be incorporating that. Um, this was a no brainer. Wow. in the world is one of Emily's favorite podcasts. So of course I had to get their human body book. And it's, it's funny. Like, oh, you know, here, of course, the page I open up to would be all about the scoop on poop. So that's a look at that one. And then this is my personal favorite, the Fantastic Body. Explore the world inside you. Um, it still appeals to a child or to a kid. I mean, it's still fun. Like, here's another let's see, example. So those are the human body books that we got. And then the last book I have is Julia Bogart's new book, Raising Critical Thinkers for Me to Read. And then everything else. Okay, so again, we're doing human body. So I picked up the squishy human body. And okay, so this is for Emily to prove to me. Okay, this is a frog dissection kit. It's synthetic and it has like little replacements for the frog so you could do it multiple times. She wants me to get dissection kits from Home Science Tools because they have like the whole mammal set where you can do the um, sheep brain and the sheep kidney and the sheep heart and they have a fetal pig. And so she wants to do all of them. This is her way of proving to me that she is even willing to dissect. So I got this because $14 and some, you know, synthetic stuff is way easier than an actual dissection kit. So if she can do this with no problem and, you know, handle it well, then we will discuss the actual dissections for the human body unit. I mean, I would love to do them, but I just want to make sure that she's actually on board with it. And it's not going to be me doing all the dissection and her watching or, I mean, she can watch, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't want her to be grossed out. Um, this game looks like a lot of fun. It's called Bag of Bones. It's a trivia-based game. So we're adding that to our game collection. And then the Magic School Bus Human Body Lab. Now, there are tons of hands-on activities within my unit study, so we didn't really need anything extra. But, I mean, who can say no to Magic School Bus? It's Emily's favorite, so she'll love every one of those. And she's at an age now where she can probably do most of those independently, like kind of as she's interested in it. Um, and then somehow or another, when I fell down the trail, I think it was when I looked this up, it, this was suggested, and I couldn't pass it up because it screamed Emily. It is a veterinary science kit. It's an anatomy clay sculpting. So you use the clay included to sculpt the anatomy for, um, the different animals. So there's a cattle, uh, dog and dolphin included. And like I said, it screamed Emily. She wants to be about when she grows up. So I couldn't pass that up. 
Uh, let's see. Next is probably one of my favorite new additions to our homeschool. It is the HP Sprocket. It is a tiny printer. It's the size of my hand and it prints two by three pictures on sticker paper. We have been using this for journaling in our homeschool. So we will go through my phone and me and Emily will both pick two to three pictures that we want to print. Um, and it just like super easy Bluetooth prints them out. And you never have to buy new ink because it's a zero ink system. It's like Polaroids. They just, it just keeps printing and you just recharge it. It's amazing. I love it. Um, I think it's perfect for so many things. We're journaling with it right now. I am planning to start using it for our history timeline book so we can just print pictures easily on sticker picture paper and stick them into the timeline book. Like I can literally think of so many things I want to do with this. So I'm really, really glad that we added that to our homeschool. It's a little pricey, but I, I plan to get my money's worth out of it. Don't worry about that. Um, and then this little cube timer is really amazing you guys it just sits and does nothing but there's 5 10 20 30 minutes the timers have other minutes on them depending on what you want and you can just quickly like flip it like if you want five minutes you would flip it up and then it starts timing five minutes and goes off when it's done if you want 20 you would just flip the 20 up to the top and it starts timing on that it's such an easy way to be like okay in five minutes like if you're doing a science experiment you check it in five minutes and just I don't know. I mean, yeah, we have our phones on us. Yeah, we have timers, but that's just so easy. You don't have to worry about pressing buttons. Just walk by and flip it to whatever you want. And it's set and it's done. And Emily can do it really, really easily. I really like it. It's my favorite. We use it a lot in our homeschool. Okay. I told you I had a few things that were not homeschool related. I'm going to share those with you now. These are amazing and my favorite. Um, we have been trying to be healthier. And so we have a ton of fruit and produce in our fridge and it was starting to drive me crazy. And this pack comes with one big one that's this long and then two small ones. And so my fridge is now all nice and neat. Um, it has the thing on the top where you can have less or more humidity. And then it has like the little basket in the bottom so that everything stays off and it drains through. They have been really, really great for keeping our produce fresher longer and for me being able to actually see what's in the fridge and use it before it goes bad. So it's all organized now. Um, I also, this was an early birthday present from Kevin. He just, you know, I bought it and told him now you don't have to buy anything for my birthday. Um, I had started making smoothies. I was super frustrated. I kept asking everybody what they use. I couldn't get anything to work right. Everybody said get a Vitamix. So that's what I did. I'm not picking the whole thing up. I just have the blender right here. Um, so I got a Vitamix and everybody's right. It's amazing. It makes the best smoothies. It was ridiculously pricey for a blender, but I'm very, very glad that I spent the money on it because it really does make the best smoothies. And I'm excited for all of the other things that it can do too. Um, and then we also all three got a new Tervis bottle. Um, they have the deluxe spout, so it just unscrews and opens like a water bottle. And it just makes it so much easier to make sure that we're drinking water all day long and we just fill it. I fill everybody's up in the morning and then we all have different colors and it keeps our water cooler. You guys, everybody laughed at me. Okay. I had a ton of requirements. First of all, it had to be small enough that it would fit in the cup holder of the car. I needed it to be at least 24 ounces because I did not want to be refilling water bottles every five seconds. And I wanted it to be insulated to keep everything cool and something to hold that I could hold with one finger when my hands were super full and hold all three of them in two hands was a bonus. <laughs> and I was like, those are my requirements for a bottle, but I found it. We love them. We've been using them for like two months. They really are pretty perfect. Like it hit all of the things that I wanted and it's withstood the dishwasher too multiple times because we don't hand wash. So it's been amazing. Okay. The very last thing I can't show you because there is no way I can lift it. Um, Kevin's birthday present, both of our birthdays are in March. Kevin's birthday present was a treadmill. So we were going to get both of them either way. You guys, I got a Vitamix. He got a treadmill. We were getting both of them and we were going to call it birthday no matter what. But like I said, we're trying to be healthier overall. And so we got a treadmill and it is on our back porch so that we can walk 
and enjoy the outside without getting rained on when it's raining. And that's it. That is everything from my Amazon haul um, from the past two to three months. And now I would love it if you would tell me in the comments because I always love it when you guys tell me the crazy things that you've been buying on Amazon too so that I don't feel real nearly as guilty about all of the things that I've been buying on Amazon. So don't forget to tell me in the comments what you have been hauling from Amazon lately. Thank you.